What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash Eric. Over the last three days, hundreds of teams from all over the world have been competing in the ESL 5 vs 5 Poland qualifiers for August. August being the last chance to get a ticket to the World Championship in October in Germany. Four teams will advance from the ESL 5 vs 5. Four teams will advance from the Clan War Leagues. Hopefully, one of those teams from the ESL 5v5 is One Hive. As you can see, we've been doing fantastic here, winning our first rounds here, smoking the competition. I'm going to be showing you the top strategies that One Hive uses to bring down bases and so that you can learn a little bit there and find out what is working at Town Hall 12 and if you want to see how it all ended I will link the live stream at the top there well I'll give you a little bit of spoiler here one hive made it to the finals and we were fighting against Ints Esports so if you want to see how that match turned out there click on that link up above I will link it again at the end of the video in the end cards if you don't want to click on now and you want to go check out these attack strategies but make sure that like button hit that subscribe button let's get right into action here all right, guys, as we go through these different attack strategies here, I want to touch on a couple defensive features on bases that would help you decide which strategies you want to use and which strategies you want to avoid. So as you see on this base here, we have the town hall on one side of the base here. We have the eagle artillery on the other side, and we have this moat in between. So there are three strategies that require you to have your main push take the eagle artillery and the town hall and those are the pekka bobat the pekka smash and the bat slap so if you have this channel in between the two then you can't make that transition across the base if you use a jump or a wall record to jump to get across that then a lot of times a lot of your troops are going to go into the channel and they will exit and go into the trash and you're not going to have enough push to go in from the eagle to take the town hall or vice versa if you're coming from the town hall Hall and you can't get to the eagle and then your troops are going to walk around and you're going to get roasted by one or the other and you're not going to be able to get it down and it's going to cause too much damage and will overwhelm your attack so those are attacks you want to avoid when you see that moat but the moat opens you up to a low damage density in this area here and makes so that you can send in just your heroes to go after the town hall and the buildings around it and that's exactly what pumpa does here so as you can see here the uh, Sui Hero Mass Hogs starts off with a funnel to send in the heroes, the Wall Wrecker, and an Ice Golem to take the Town Hall, the CC. The King is often by the Town Hall, so that sets you up nicely for Hogs as well. And then you're able to send in the Hogs and take the rest of the base. He uses his King to help out with the funnel. The King is going to go and join with the rest of the troops here. The Ice Golem comes down in front of that Wall Wrecker to tank all the point defenses in the area and makes so that Wall Wrecker can make it all the way to the Town Hall. The King ends up pulling the CC and he has a double balloon and a hound come out of that that forces him to use the poison early to take out those balloons and now he doesn't have a poison to deal with the pups and so this is one of the strongest cc's to counter this strategy but you can still make it through if you went in with like a sui hero lalu or something like that often you're going to use uh a stone slammer and you're not gonna have that wall wrecker so you won't have the extra troops here to make this punch so if you do have that hound usually the sui hero mass hogs tends to work its way through that cc a little bit better because you have the extra support from that wall wrecker carrying the pekka and the ice golem or if you want double ice golem and a baby dragon or something like that then that works good if you want to do a queen charge instead of the sui heroes but then we can swarm the base with the hogs we have the ward ability and two skeleton spells to bring down the queen here so as you see, double skeleton spell comes down. The warring ability pops, making those skeletons invincible. Even though they're getting struck by the eagle, they're going to survive right through that and take down the queen. Heals, carry the hogs through the base here. And also... When you have bases like this that are susceptible to mass hogs, you're going to want to put all of your spring traps on this other side of the base here because you know that all the hogs are going to be passing through there and hogs being one of the most strong strategies in the game right now, you got to do as much as you can to counter it. So make sure all of your spring traps are on this side of the base here so the hogs are hitting them as they pass through. And that'll make so that they have a lower chance of being able to be successful and bring in the three star. So Pumpa goes through, crushes this base with mass hogs. Plenty of hogs left to clean it up here the warden and the skeletons all survived there they're gonna go into cleanup and that warden could probably finish off those last few defenses on his own he's very very powerful but he has plenty of hogs plenty of cleanup party wizards clean up very very fast in this attack so if you are seeing this and the party wizards are still available in the game then make sure you're using them because they're very very good so let's go get in the next attack now all right guys so as you can see we ended up getting the perfect war on this war 
we had another Sui Hero Mass Hogs on this one. So once again, we're not going to watch this one through, but I just want to point out that once again, we have the Town Hall and the Eagle, and we have that moat separated between them. So this makes it a prime candidate for the Sui Hero Mass Hogs or a Sui Hero Laloon. Maybe could have done either on this one, but he chose to do the Sui Hero Mass Hogs a little bit more reliable, in my opinion, than the Sui Hero Laloon and a little bit easier to perform as well. So why not? All right, next up, we have the Drag Bat. Drag bat, one of my favorite strategies. So when you can have a lot of the infernos right around the town hall, especially multi infernos that are by the town hall, then the drag bat does very, very well. You use the heroes to form the funnel or an e-drag. You can use a combination of those to go and clear all this, the trash around your entry there and make so that those dragons go right through the town hall take out the infernos and then work their way into the eagle you don't have to worry about moats on this one you just got to worry about funneling and you want to try to avoid pulling the cc with your funneling troops here so you can fight that cc with your dragons as they make their approach the queen is going to go over here and take out an air defense as she runs the funnel which is always nice and then if you have a uh, air defense that is kind of more internal this one was right on the edge so the dragons were able to rush it but if it is more internal and you're going to be having a sit there and shoot your dragons on your entry for a bit there then you're going to want to bring a hound but then we can rush the infernos here we are able to take them out with the warden ability and work our way into the eagle and then once we once we reach these wizard towers here we can either send in a bat wave or we can send in a bat bomb but since i had all the wizard towers tanked i was able to send in my bats i dropped the bats i dropped the rage and the freeze and i am able to quickly overwhelm that uh multi inferno and then the bats can spread out from there and the base is crushed all the splash damage is down there's dragons hanging all the defense around the base the tornado trap trips here and almost catches my bats but luckily they were able to avoid it and they were able to continue through and take out all the defenses bats survive i got a couple minions the dragons survive and we crush this base with the drag bat one of my favorite strategies and as bases are trying to get more anti hog anti laloon as those are becoming the meta right now they're kind of opening themselves up again once again to the bats or the the drag bat and they have those channels there to stop the the ground base bat attacks but the drag bat is once again making a comeback so keep an eye out for it all right and before we move on to the next war i just want to point out that the last attack was also a sui hero mass hog so I'm telling you guys it's it's crazy good learn it it's it's solid but let's go on to the next war and check out what happened there all right guys in war number two we ended up taking the win here as well getting a 12 to 10 victory and as you can see right here i ended up with a 99 percent time fail we're just going to touch on this really quick here because it's applicable to the next attack which is the pekka smash one of the most powerful attack strategies when you don't have that moat and you can get a jump access to the town hall and then another jump that gets you to the eagle from there we have to evaluate do we have good bat pathing or do we want to go with a slammer and have the pekkas take out more of the base there with extra spell support so as you can see on this one if we wanted to send in bats then they would basically have to go in over on this side because this other side of the base here is just smashed with infernos and wizard towers and they're all spaced perfectly so you can't freeze them together so it'd be very very difficult to move bats through that side of the base there so we're pretty much gonna use a pekka smash on this one because the pekka smash is gonna have the extra spell support to push the pekkas through these infernos and you can have this slammer just go through over here where there's no air defenses and take them out if there were more air defenses over here and their defenses more more spread around the base then we might want to use the bats instead and try to clear out this whole area but with no air defenses over here it was an easy candidate for a pekka smash attack so that's the basic idea let's go see how tricky brought down this base right here and didn't time fail like me so as you can see once again we have jump access to the town hall and then we have a second jump which will give us access to the eagle that also gives us access to two infernos as we approach through and all the expos which makes so that we have a decision for the other side of the base here what is left do we want to go with a pekka smash or a pekka bobat if we want to do the pekka bobat then we use the wall wrecker on the entry and we use the bats on the back side but what will be left we have a uh, wizard tower and inferno with a multi-set and we have two more wizard towers on the top side so probably 
quite difficult to move bats through that top side of the base there so a slammer could do it a little bit easier just needs to get through this air defense on the top side and then it's fine so we make a funnel through the base here he uses uh pekka's the king the king doesn't enter the base when you do these attacks here because if he does then he'll take the healers and heroes receive half the healing from heal spells and the healers that regular troops do so if you can have the pekka's or witches on these style attacks here take those healers then they can push through and get way more value out of those healers and the they can rush air defenses relatively quick and infernos so you can uh, you can have the pekkas if you have like five of them in there they can tank all the beams of the inferno and the beams won't go to the healers so with a queen following along there she's able to pick off those infernos before those healers get in under any threat and they can work their way through the pekka is going to break the wall there work their way into that inferno queen under rage and now in comes the slammer he freezes the air defense takes it out first and then he can use the uh haste to finish his way through with that slammer and clear out the rest of the area there taking a couple uh traps black mine red mine but then as soon as he opens up there the haste comes out and he sends those balloons on a whirlwind path through the base and they're able to get a lot more of the defenses down and now the whole top compartment is pretty much dealt with to the point that these healers following the pekkas and the queen can finish off there he holds on to a couple party wizards here to go in and try to uh save time wherever possible so he's just holding on to him now as he circles around the base here letting those pekkas and the healers he doesn't see a good opportunity to put them anywhere because there's a cannon up here and a cannon over here so he's as it behind that uh pekka and that makes so that they can push on a little bit quicker with the king the, excuse me, with the with the pekkas the queen and the warden there and the healers it's pretty much an unstoppable force when the defenses are thinned out this much and he's able to bring in the three stars so obviously this one is going through plenty of time left on the clock and he had the queen ability to speed him up if he needed it so very very nice attack by tricky and did end up with a time fail like me and using that pekka smash and whenever they don't have that moat think pekka think uh witches they're all good options here so let's go on to the next one all right guys going into war number three we ended up taking the win here as well 12 to 11 against ethnic albania one of our triples was by rays here once again using the sui hero mass hogs very very powerful once again we're not gonna show that because we already showed it but the other attack here was by tricky going in with the pekka bow bat pekka bow bat very similar to that pekka smash attack that we just watched but we want to look at how much is going to be on the back side of the base there and evaluate whether we want to use a slammer or we want to use the bats on the back side. So in this case, he's going to use an E-drag to form the funnel. Look at that black mine right there. Gets lured by that Coco Loon there and goes and hits the E-drag anyways. That's very, very frustrating when that happens, but I don't know why it does it. But either way, it's just annoying. But either way, he has the king going to clear the other side of the funnel and the king not entering the base there so he doesn't take the healers once again the pekkas come down in front of the wall wrecker so that the wall wrecker gets the tanking because the the pekkas can get healed up by the healers but the wall wrecker can't so you want to make sure that the pekkas are taking the damage there you can get them topped off if you lose one not a big deal and then the wall wrecker can make it all the way to the town hall and give you the access that you need then you can jump to the eagle there is a little bit of a moat here but there's no trash to, to divert troops if they go into the that moat they will cross and go over to the eagle so you don't have to worry about that uh you don't have to worry about the moat like you did in the other attacks there and they will cross it and get to the eagle and it's not a big deal so now we got to look at how much of the splash damage is going to be down and if we will have better pathing for a slammer or a bat wave so in this one he's gonna have that queen take out the other inferno she's gonna step up and pause it right here so what is left we have this nice little channel here we have an air defense up here and we had uh probably some black mines through here which is gonna make it further we have pekka's here tanking all these point defenses so i think either one of them would have been able to make it through but the bats could do it a little bit faster as they move through and they can continue on onto this side of the base as well the slammer probably wouldn't make it that far but you would get extra spell support so kind of a toss up here which one you want to use uh you can kind of use them interchangeably there they work very similarly there but I think the Pekka Bobat tends to be a bit stronger if you have that option, but 
I don't know. It's kind of personal preference. But the queen is able to take out the inferno as the bats are moving through. They start one-shotting as soon as they pack up. That's why you start them on the edge of the base there instead of starting them in the middle of the base because you want to make sure that they have the ability to pack up. And then as soon as they pack up, they start to one-shot. So he's making his way through. The queen takes out the other wizard tower and he has one wizard tower on the backside here. Watch the bats here. Try to take it out and he gets one shot off and takes out the whole thing. So the bat wave is a little less forgiving if you mess up your freeze timing um if you mess it up then the bat wave is gone if you have a slammer moving through it's a little bit more forgiving it's a little bit easier to get that because you don't have to worry about timing so specifically and you can just have more punch and a little bit it's a little bit more spammy the peckable bat is a little bit more technical because you have to watch those bats very very closely and the timing becomes critical but with so many pekkas the queen alive still and a couple bowlers and wizards he's able to clean this one up no problem even got some healers there to keep everything topped off after they get out of the brunt of the base there very nice attack here by tricky using the pekka bobat all right guys in round number four we went against imaginatic imaginatic was a french team in the round of 32 32 teams remain and only the top four go to poland so let's check out this yellow trone lalun attack here so why did i choose this attack first of all as you can see we have the separated base here with the moat here. I could get the eagle, but would I be able to actually clear out this other side here with a slammer or bats? That would be the question if I wanted to do a P.E.K.K.A. smash or a P.E.K.K.A. bat attack. If I could clear out this whole section on this side of the base here with a P.E.K.K.A. smash, then I'd have to clear out this side with a slammer, and there's a little bit too much over here, and I wouldn't be able to uh, cross this channel efficiently, and I probably wouldn't be able to get through the other side here. So I avoided that attack, and I went with a Lawlin attack, because if I did hogs on this side, then the hogs would have had four expos locking onto them, potentially, and they would just get burned there, and I don't know if the hogs would have been able to have a big enough kill squad to take out the side of the base and get through both Infernals and the Eagle. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So I decided to go with the Yolo Tron Lalun. The Lalun on this side of the base here with two ground expos. And I have good air defenses here that would stop the slammer from taking that side of the base. But would make so that I had good anchor points for hounds to move a Lalun through. So that's why I decided to go with the Lalun on this base. And let's see how it plays out here. As you see, we're going to use the heroes to start it off here. The heroes are going to walk around this inferno compartment here and clear out and make a path for the E-Drags and the Slammer to have direct access to that. So the king is going to pull the CC here. I knew that he would and they had an archer there to lure a hound away and so that the queen would never pop the hound and I could get the hound away from the E-Drags and the balloon or the Slammer that was coming in. But instead I got a pile of archers and goblins and a witch in there and it was just caused a big mess here like how do you deal with that so i tried to get all the air targeting stuff here and lure it into a poison so i used a couple balloons here to just hold it inside of the poison i couldn't use minions they wouldn't hold it long enough i needed to get that witch down so it wasn't spawning skeletons under my e-drags i even found some uh, air traps there so that was nice and i got the witch down and then i lured the rest of the troops off to the other corner here with an archer and now i was ready to go in with the e-drags and the slammer i sent in a coco loon there to find a black mine probably by that air defense that's why i wanted the queen to take that air defense so i can get a uh, coco loon to go in and find any black mines there by the e-drags get a rage i freeze the queen here probably could have freeze the the town hall with that as well i didn't think the town hall was going to be activated at that point so i didn't freeze it but it did get hit by a chain and did activate the dragons take the hit from the giga blast there actually it looks like only two of them hit it and then one of them immediately gets hit by a black mine so it wasn't a big deal the other e-drag was trying to work its way into the eagle i was hoping i could get the eagle but i got a couple shots on it but didn't quite take it out the other e-drag dies off here i start the lalun from the other side here i have good anchor points for the hounds and i can move them through with a couple haste and and free spells to work our way through so i gotta get a uh, free spell down there and i'm trying to get the warden in position there so the, the freeze gave me just enough time there to get the warden in position and then i got all of my balloons with the warden i got the minions over here working through all these uh skeletons and the goblins that were over there mixed into that so i was trying to not time fail there and then a couple of balloons there split off and finish off the eagle i have a freeze and a heal going into the last inferno there and i can sweep it through and take it out so beautiful attack here but check this out because of all this distraction over here on my minions i end up coming up with check this out 
A 99% time fill. Killer. Two of them in three, four wars. Four wars, I got two 99% and a triple. And so that was, that was brutal. Uh, kind of a heartbreaker there, but we ended up getting one other triple here. We ended up actually losing this war. The other triple was by Pidgey here, and he went in with a Queen Charge Hog Attack, and that'll be the last one we look at for today. Other honorable mentions is the Bat Slap. I did mention it a few times there. When you do Bat Slap, you gotta take normally the Eagle first and then the Town Hall, so you usually come in opposite, but you gotta make sure you have Pathing, and that attack does really, really well against Single Infernos, so always keep that in mind when you do see Single Infernos, but you gotta take down the Eagle before the Town Hall usually. You don't have to, but usually it tends to work better, and that Moat shuts it down once again, so be mindful of that. But the P.E.K.K.A., oh, excuse me, the, the Queen Charge, Hog attack does really, really well. I like the way that Pidgey does this attack here, where he always starts to queen over by the town hall. And he has her wrap around the town hall. He doesn't have her take the town hall. He has her wrap around it, and then he brings a miner that can have direct access to that town hall and finish it off. And then he has the hogs that follow the miner, and after it activates, he can have the hogs take down the town hall. So just a single miner to activate it there does really, really well there if you don't have percentage. And that's just kind of a fail safe there as you work your way through. So he ends up getting the hound over to his queen, gets it popped, gets a wizard down to finish her. Uh, funneling her through and did he get a minion down there no he didn't bring a minion there for the pups but he had the poison well placed there he's able to burn through quick then the slammer comes in and opens up the base a little bit more here dropping out a couple ice golems here it's going to move through the base here and kill out a couple defenses and push that queen into the base there and then drop some tanking out in front of her so kind of a cool unique way to use that slammer it goes down here comes the ice golems and what's with those ice golems no it was a pekka and ice golem so they're able to step up and work together and get through the eagle and then the hogs with that miner are able to go in and take the town hall he gets a ward ability as he pushes through he's got that queen nicely protected with the pekka and ice golem on one side the hogs on the other side he gets the healer switch onto the hogs and now that queen can continue through so i like this use of the queen charge hog attack i think it's one of the best ways to do this attack a lot of times because you have a safe two star because you open up access to that town hall right away for a miner to activate it and it it's quite safe because it doesn't really matter if the queen walks one way or the other way around the town hall because she will still open up access so you can have that miner activate it so the hogs are able to move through the queen gets stuck on the wall and the hogs can continue Continue through around the base a couple of balloons come down to keep those hogs centered and keep them inside of the hills and so they don't have to go all the way out to the edge of the base there to find those perimeter defenses but able to clean it up and a couple hogs get sprung off right at the end there but just enough to make it through queen survives even with the healers she was protected on both sides so they were able to move through party wizards clean up the base very very quickly but guys we weren't able to make it go into the end cards of this video here and i'm going to link the live stream for the other one hive team that made it to the finals it wasn't my team as you see imaginatic took us down and then our team took down imaginatic in the next round otherwise it was going to be one hive versus one hive and we're going to have to fight our own team and then the winner of that went on to fight ints esports for the finals to get that last spot for poland so go watch that live stream if you want to and you can see all that action live there we go all right guys well that's it for today Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And I'm out.